Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're looking at upgrading your stereo system to be able to unlock things like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or even put in some cameras, it can be extremely expensive to take out your head unit, pay somebody to put a whole new head unit in. Well, I've been sent the Atato PA system that promises to do all of that and so much more. A real plug and play, easy system to upgrade any stereo system in your car, your van, or your truck. Now I've been sent this to give it the 11 out of 10 review. So let's go through everything, unboxing, installation, and a real well test. So let's get on with it. So let's start with the great unboxing. The packaging feels good quality, well printed, labelled with all of the functions. On opening up the box, you'll find your user manual and installation guide. This is clearly printed and simple to follow. You will also find your quick start guide plus a QR code to be able to download Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Simply take your camera, scan the picture and it will take you straight to the app. Up next is your 7 inch display. This generally feels really good quality as soon as you lift it out of the box. Digging deeper into the box you will find your mount. This is fully adjustable so you can get any angle that you require. Next you will find your power lead. This will also have two USB ports. Opening up the next bag you will find your front camera plus this really long lead what means that you can literally run it anywhere that you like for the front windscreen to get the perfect shot. The rear camera is made from aluminium. This is designed to be an external camera. The cable that comes with it is extremely long that means it should fit to nearly any vehicle. And finally, you will get a bag full of so many accessories, including this remote control, plus a disc that you can put onto your dash, so you can put your suction mount to, and so much more to complete your installation. With everything done, it's time to move on to the installation. Now this is really a plug and play system. Straight away, if you take the disc provided, stick it onto the central part of your dash. Take the mounting plate and slide it into the back of the Q8 system and it should click into place. Next, take your mounting system, peel off the seal on the suction plate and attach it to the disc that you've just stuck down. Then take your screw-on nut, place it on top of the ball and screw it firmly into place. After that, take your camera connector. This is the yellow and black cable and plug that straight into the USB-C port. Take your front camera Peel off the sticky pad and attach that to where you'd like your front camera to be located. Exactly the same with your rear camera, but this is designed to go underneath your number plate. Make sure the air is nice and clean and then firmly push it on using the sticky pad to make sure it's in the right location. With all this done, all you need to do is connect all of your power and cables together. Now everything is connected and with the device powered up, the first thing that you need to do is connect your Bluetooth. Once you've done this, it's super easy, it will prompt you to connect to Apple CarPlay. Just select yes and you'll be straight in. Now simply use your camera to scan the QR code that will take you to either Apple or Android where you can easily download the app and from there you can update the system for the latest frame wire. This will be really quick and easy and as soon as it's updated, you are literally ready to go. With a nice, simple installation done, what I like to do is I like to go out on a road test first before I tidy up all of my wires to make sure everything's in the correct places. And then I'll come back and use these plastic clips that stick on that are provided to hide all of the wiring nicely away for a nice, clean install. That now brings us on to the real world test. First things first, we'll fire it up and see how quickly the device powers up. So we'll fire up the van first. The van firing up how quick is that going straight straight in now because i've connected it all to my apple carplay after a few seconds of this powering up reaching my phone it will connect to apple carplay that means it will shortly appear just here 
on the screen. Then we're straight in to Apple CarPlay, what unlocks so many features. And we'll go back to this in just a second. So let's go back to the main menu itself and let's do the first thing, look at the cameras. Now, just to give you an idea of the cameras itself, this is the front camera. You can see it's a nice rainy day. Look how clear and good that image is. And then what we can do is swap to the rear image. Again, nice and clear. And because we're going to be using it for reversing, say, we can select this feature that gives us this box as well. So if we look here, if I go into reverse, what we can see is, is that we can then back up using the grids that make it so much easier, especially when you're in a giant van like this. So just to let you know how far your cable will run to the back camera, the whole length of a long wheelbase van. So there is plenty of cable for every single vehicle. So with the van fired up, with the cameras in the right place, you don't just obviously get the reverse camera, but you get the front camera as well. And that works as a dash cam. So you can insert your own SD card. And as soon as you do, it will format and you are recording straight away. So I'm gonna give you straight out of the SD card, the footage that you're going to expect. So any issues that you've got, you've got that camera footage. So if you're in an accident or you capture something on camera, you can go back and look at it. So this is the footage that you're gonna get. So next, let's move in to the most awesome feature of all, and that's, of course, the Apple CarPlay that will unlock so many features. So you can make a call from here. You can play your music that you've got stored on your phone. Of course, you can go onto Apple Maps. You can get hold of messages when you're nice and stationary, and you can play your podcasts and audio books. From there, you've got your calendar, your Google Maps, Spotify, Was. that's a great navigation app if you want your miles per hour up on the screen as well. You can voice controlled answer and respond to WhatsApp messages. It is just absolutely fantastic. So Spotify, for instance, if you want to play your latest tracks, you can. It all comes up on the screen. You select it and it will come up playing just as it would on your mobile phone. So I'm going to play you some music so you can hear the quality. Now, this system that I've got currently in my van has not got an aux lead. It's not got Bluetooth, but what it has got because of this system, you can send your music through via FM. So let's have a quick listen to the quality. I am going to play your track from my phone, Bluetooth to this for copyright reasons. But let's just open up. Let's just put a track on. And this is now playing. And there we go. We are through the van speakers. So let's now look at the quality of the screen as we're going along, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out the navigation. And again, because this is via Apple CarPlay, you have a whole selection of maps that you can go from. Obviously, the Apple Maps, Google Maps, was, and there are all sorts of apps out there that you can download. But let's have a quick look. So this is Google Maps. Just by tapping the screen and going up into search just up here, we're then going to select our keyboard. And I'm just going to put in a nearby town to where I am. And that's Market Harbour, and we'll start our navigation. Head southwest towards Bear Way. And as you've instantly heard, because it's again going via the FM radio, we can hear every single instruction. So have a quick look at this as we're going down the road. So as you can see, the screen is really easy and nice to follow. At the Hermitage roundabout, take the second exit onto A6. Plus, then, as you could hear, nice audio directions given via your stereo and the FM transmitter that's obviously built into this unit. What I really like about the screen as well is that you can 
dim it or brighten it to whichever you like. Straight out of the box, it is auto, so it will automatically dim itself down when it's at night. One of the other things that you can do with this awesome system is make a call. So you'll be able to receive and make calls as you're going down the road. So let's give that a test. Okay, so to make a call, it's really simple. It's absolutely chucking it down with rain outside, so it's quite noisy inside this fan. But you select call the person you want to call, hit that, and it will go through really fast. Hello? Hello, I'm just testing out a new system that I've put in the van. Can you just tell me if this is nice and clear? Yes, it is nice and clear. And would you say it sounds like I am using an external device to make a call, or does it just sound really good? It sounds really good. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. So just looking at a few more of the different options that you've got, including if you're not happy with the screen being like this and you'd like it more so you've got displayed so you've got your navigation there what you're listening to either music or podcast wise there and some nice clear instructions to your next turn so if you go to the main display for the PA you can see here how bright and beautiful that it is and you can see that you can connect and change your FM frequency in case you want to have a different frequency if it's mixed with any other radio station out there you can of course do it via your BT or plug it in via your aux cable as well to connect you've also got really handy and able to adjust the display up and down here now you can have it on auto like that so it will dip down and it will come back if you want it a bit brighter because it's really light sun or if you're at night and you find it slightly distracting you can put it right down and have it nice and dull so you're not ever getting distracted by how bright the display is the other thing i really like is that you can change the audible level that's being transmitted out what you find with some systems is it's always on maximum so you're getting a really sort of blown quality through the fm but you can adjust that there as well you can play your music and things directly off your bluetooth if you want and if you want to access your camera you can do so easily here and if you want to drink back and you want to make a call you can there if you want to play your music you can there and if you want to go straight into your apple carplay you just click on that and you're back to that screen. Well, the Atoto P8 system is just awesome. Easy to install, plug and play, simple to use, great bright display, all adjustable. It just does absolutely everything that it says on the tin. Now this whole system you can get for less than £250. All the links plus the latest discount codes are down in the description just below. So pop over, check out the website because you're not going to be disappointed and it will save you a ton of money compared to ripping out your current stereo system, getting one professionally fitted and having to get all that wiring and stuff done because this is such a simple and easy system to use. So go and check out the links. If you've enjoyed this video and you think it will help someone else, please share it with a friend and I will see you in the next Helmet Head adventure. But what a cool piece of kit. Take care. Bye bye for now.